Oh yeah, let's have a look. Oh, everything's a little bit stuttery still. This game has a little bit of a problem with uh, load time sometimes I'm finding. XCOM is weird, yeah. It's a pretty cool game though. Uh, but while I was running around, by the way, I found a place here that had a police checkpoint that I couldn't go through. I wonder where that would link to. Maybe up to there? Like if it's like a little elbow connector maybe? I don't know. We need to go into the Arcology, the Warrens. So let's go. A little bit choppy. Do not adjust your TV sets. The game is just having problems. Like everything lately, including my webcam. I wrote a short story based on one of the missions you ran in XCOM. Nice. You getting in my face there, bro? Y'all want to get in my face too? Sweet. My super upgraded gun. What about you? Blap. <laughs> yeah, chunky. Archaeology. Uh, wonder what they excavated. Early 90s stuff. Yeah, you know, like America Online floppy CDs and stuff like that. There are crates down here. Oink! I'll take those. You guys giving me grief as well. Oh, one of the other things I found um, while I was running around off stream, I found a, um, uh, a gr instead of a grenade, we can throw out a portable turret. So I've got that equipped. One character made it out. It was very Hamburger Hill. Oh, damn. Imagine walking around a museum and suddenly there's a whole wall of floppy dicks. I mean discs. Sure you do. Sure you do. You meant discs, right? Hmm. <laughs> I believe you. All right need to go to the maintenance area. We still have our big chunky rocket launcher. Ah, don't run across the rockets, you imbecile. Oh, that is so nice. Yes. Nice, destructive gun. I like that shit. Alright, apparently we go down here into the Deep Stink again. We went down here before for one of those other missions, if you guys remember. Feral ball harvesting or something. Yeah, the rocket gun is so nice. Let's go. So I wonder now if I'll be able to get... No, I think that needed... Um... That area we couldn't get into, like, I think. Door there, we, or maybe up here we couldn't go through. <clears throat> Same over there. We weren't able to get in. <clears throat> it's like, um... It's a high-level hack, so... Don't have the ability, I'm afraid. I'm still a little frustrated by that whole, um like the way that these cyber deck upgrades I I don't like that at all like oh you found the next level up cyber deck like yeah what can I do with it one new thing compared to the last one like really and it's prefixed and you know it's just linear I don't get a choice hmm oh god my controller is vibrating like hell. What is going on? Yeah, access denied. Not even a case of hacking. It's just... It won't let you in. Hmm. Doki, well, let's just follow this. We went to the reactor when we were last down here, if you remember. So, we should be okay. Finding our way back to it. 
No real problems getting in. Boom. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Coming out of the goddamn walls, man. And my turret would have been really handy right about now. But it was on cooldown because I changed into another area. That's a shame. Can't use excessive force? No, sadly. It is unforceable. Alright. Crates! Yes, I can go out of my way to grab the crates with like ten dollars in them. <laughs> so what? Oh my god, really? Like one shot kills now. Conserve your ammo! I mean the difference between life and death in a infinite ammo game. I guess. I, you know. Waste not, want not, I say. This way. Those guys that chuck shit at you really annoy me. I somehow don't seem to be able to ever get away from what they actually throw at me. Just have that preternatural ability to land a shot exactly where you're going to stand. Ah! Always when I'm reloading. I think it about forcing things open made me miss uh, old Red Faction game. Oh, damn, yes. I especially liked Red Faction Gorilla, that was great. Just being able to, like, demolish the buildings was so good. And why don't many games do that anymore? <laughs> we could do that on the PS2, you know. Bring a whole building down by crashing a vehicle into every corner of it and waiting for it to fall. I remember shooting down one of those, like, flying gunships and uh, it went whoosh right over my head as it crashed, hit the building, but uh, I was attacking anyway and brought the whole thing down on top of it and it was just amazing. Oh boy, Big Chonker is here. Big Chonker's dead. Making things breakable with modern graphics would be really bad for the hardware. I guess so, yeah. Although then again, you've got games like... Um, Hard Space Shipbreaker, for instance where that's basically the same thing. Solid surface, get a thing, cut through it into pieces and it breaks apart, right? But it's slow paced by comparison. So that, you know, like, try to do that in a, like a fast paced action game, probably would melt somebody's graphics card for sure. We get this over here. 
Maybe not. Aha! Ah, see, I managed to evade that one. Little bastard. Sweet. All right, the reactor was through here. Get it. Let's get it. Oh, it's this guy with the rockets. Okay, yeah, I got rockets of my own, bitch. I like that shit. Oh, we need to go this way? Oh, across this bridge. Right, 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 right. Yes, yeah, because that's the elevator down. Ah! Never mind then. <laughs> I just put my turret down for no reason. I thought we were gonna get swarmed. All right, here we go. Oh, here's where the swarm is. Oh right, I swatched weapons for some reason. Oh. Apparently, we were getting attacked from behind as well. <laughs> hey, see, the turret helped. Go. Yeah, it's always place a turret down when you feel lonely, especially if it's a portal turret, because those guys are cute as hell. Creepy, but cute. Alright, down we go into the reactor. Stompies. I remember the big stompies. Yeah. These are good. Maybe it'll start singing. Exactly. Right, now we can go into the reactor. We couldn't do this before. Thank you, Poon. <clears throat> Very handy list right there. I open all of these. Oh, yeah. The canary picked up. What is the canary? Not a weapon, is it? No. Oh, right, and we also have the, um, the long rifle. I'm wondering. I don't think. Interesting. Okay. It is a type of bird, yeah. But in this context, I don't think so. But this is a shock weapon. I did not notice that. Alright. Well, we want the big beastie for now, so we're good. Uh, but yeah, in this context, is it a, um, tactical item? Nope. It might be a skin, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, yeah. That's what we're gonna hack. Canary doing shock damage? Guess enemies are shocked it's not a bird. Haha! <laughs> Yep. I love when the combat music kind of fades in. It does a very good job. Blending in that music. Hell yeah. Let's have a look. Uh, 
all this down here and we can just go there. I think we'll probably end up doing a full circle back, but I'm going to try going this way first. See what we can uh, shed light on. That leads to the reactor as well, apparently. Oh, I can't go across there. There's a console over there. All right, so I, yeah, that's a telltale sign. This is the way we come back, right? It's what's called clever level design. Boost cooling system. Hey, Blame! Hello! The more I watch you uh, play this, the more it reminds me of Red Solstice. A little bit, yeah. Very, very similar. The soundtrack as well, kind of, the way that it plays in, kind of reminds me of Ruiner. That was good as well. That was a very interesting game. Which, sadly, I don't think I actually have uh, on my YouTube list. There's a lot of, like, old... Oh god! Oh god, we got so many! Turret! Turret! And, ah! It's on cooldown still! Fine. Huh. Yeah! Bring it! Didn't need it. <laughs> that turret is always on cooldown. But yeah, maybe I need to replay some of those games, because it was before I started archiving things on YouTube. Like, a lot of cyberpunky games, like the Shadowrun games, for instance, or I could do a YouTube series for those. That might be an idea. Dragonfall was especially good. I liked Dragonfall. I didn't play through all of the uh, the Hong Kong one, though. I, was, I got to a point where I was having trouble with one particular mission, and it felt like my characters had the wrong set of skills for the mission. Because nothing I, could, nothing I was able to do to progress the mission was actually going to work. And that really kind of annoyed me. It felt like a failure state, which... There should have been other alternatives. The combat option was, like, super hard. Um, all the social options failed. And it didn't feel like there were many other ways to do things. There was no hacking that could be done. It was a little bit... What felt a little bit too linear. Whoa! Warbots! Bad warbots. Alright, cooling system is through here. Yeah, I see you, robot. Digital damage, bitches! Eat my digital bullets! I'm firing code at you and viruses and shit. Mono scraper. Huh? These things I'm getting. Mono scraper, an augment. Deploys a light a mono bot focused on close combat. The mono fighter doesn't last long, but should be enough to provide a temporary diversion while you release the uh, while, while you reassess the combat situation. Oh, mono scrapper, not scraper. I said, screw it, time to get it downloaded. <laughs> yeah, this is a really cool game. It's just fun, you know? It's just dumb fun, and I like it. I'm a bad influence. That's why I'm an influencer. Hey! Auxiliary cooling system. Hack that shit. Alright. Oh. That's still over here. Oh no, that's that way. Okay. Game was slow to update. These guys are angry because I killed all of their friends and family in the first stretch of this game. 
<laughs> you guys remember me shooting a whole bunch of robots and being like, are they bad guys? I think they're not. And they were just like harmless civvies. I was like, nope, shit. How about this? Boom! Oh, that did the job nicely. Mono Ranger. What the heck is a Mono Ranger? Secret you right, Raided. Hello, come on in. Welcome to the Raiders. I'm shooting civvies. Not this time. They have weapons. They're trying to kill me. I was going to leave them alone, but they, they're trying to hurt me, so I'm going to hurt them back. And we're getting a lot of loot in here all of a sudden. Um, that was another augment, wasn't it? So this is another one. Another mono. A mono but armed with a rifle. Combat buddy. What? Oh, I'm all about that. Oh, hell yeah. I think we need that. I'm not going to swap into it right now because it'll basically wipe the battery. Unless I can find a vending machine that lets me get battery power. I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? What were you streaming? And did it go good? What is this? Uh, this oh, Christ! Okay, I'm glad I got all these health packs because I need them now. The hell happened there? Did I hack these barrels to explode? I probably did, right? Hmm. Get that. Just having weapons means you're not a civilian. Well, US has no civilians. <laughs> Hmm. Makes you think, doesn't it? We're playing Neverwinter. All oh, right. Okay. Yes, I remember you saying that uh, you were looking to play that yesterday, right? <laughs> Only started the game recently, but it's such a super fun game. Nice game. I never played. E77 Superior. Was is das? It is a form of machine gun that is shock damaged. We're using the Dominator. Hmm. There's the pacifier. And there's the sniper rifle. I'm wondering, actually, do we want to maybe swap out the chrome puncher? Because that does uh, sniper damage as well. Uh, sorry, shock damage as well. We're fighting robots. You got from level 4 to 8, so pretty good progress. Nice! Hoping to hit 15 by the end of the week. Excellent. All the levels. It's down here. I feel like we're getting into an area we're not meant to go yet. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. We're definitely not meant to go this way. Oh, shit. Um, I just threw my turret. Oh, Christ! Yeah. We've angered them. We, we've upset the hive. Hey! Hey! I never said you could run away! Back <laughs> That's right. 
That's right. That's right. Bring it. Oh, shit. They're bringing it. Ah! I'm surrounded. Yeah, there we go. I, I, I wasn't worried. Fine. I'm good. Cyclops security helmet. I think we have one of those. Ballistic chest armor. We're probably going to need to look at some of this gear for now and uh, see if we can upgrade ourselves with it. Neverwinter is fun, can confirm, but somehow bad at playing MMO a uh, long time didn't reach very far. Ah. Yeah, I just never got around to it myself. Alright, digital damage. Screw these guys. I'm going to use my digital damage thing. Oh, there's a bounty here. Bounty dead. Uh, yes, I know how to upgrade weapons. Thank you for that very late tutorial game. Ah, kill them all! I don't know where he is. He's down there somewhere. Oh, fuck you. There we go. Has sense been going good? Really been enjoying it. Even better when you get another characters of the story and for forgotten realms. Ah. Yeah, like I say, it's just I, I never got round to that game, so which is a bit of a shame. It looked good. I was very interested in it when it first came out, and then I, I just kind of didn't follow through on it. Well, there's a bounty up here as well. Careful, Pip. Pip wasn't careful enough to avoid my bullets. Boom! My digital bullets. Yeah. yeah think about that, Pip. But yeah, we've been having fun. We've been uh, wrecking shit. We're trying to plug into this reactor. So let's go do the next quest part, I guess. We need to raise the energy output. Hello. Give me your contents, juicy chest. The Hellfire Worker Jacket. That sounds cool. Control Rod Assembly. I want this health pack. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. This happened with a 0.00032% increase. Jesus. Jesus. What is going on here? All right. Now we override the distribution hub. Are we destroying the whole city now? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. This is when we find out that Boss Poon is actually a supervillain and we're his unwitting pawn. It's like, yeah, 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 go turn those dials up to max and it'll help us, you know, keep people alive. And he's like, yeah, fool, he will destroy this planet. And I will be on a transport ship a long way from here with all the money stolen from the city vaults. That's good. That's actually a really good uh, premise for a story. I like that. I'll have to write that down after the stream. Somebody else altered the hub before us, and we just undid their alteration. We're gonna mod this shit. We're gonna give this reactor big titties. Because that's what mods do, right? That's that's the only thing mods do. Pretty sure that's what mods do. 
But the internet has broken me. So we need to conceal the power drain. Oink. Yimmy. Oh, hey, a turret. I just act out a turret. Nice. Be friendly. Alright, where are we? We're in this last little bit down here. God, this this huge area, look at this. Does that look like a boss arena to you guys? Looks like a boss arena to me. Mmm. Also, chest on the way out we must remember to get. Late Stardew Valley uh, looked at mods and, yep, big titties. Yeah, pretty much. That's what they do. Look at Skyrim, Fallout, big titties. Oh, it's a Tachikoma! From hell! Holy shit! Oh! Baby Tachis! Okay, they be bombs. Gotcha. I'm gonna lob my turret down. Digital damage. Oh my god, it has a flaming waffen! Boom! Get fucked, Tachikoma. It pooped Spideys, it did. <gasps> no, there's more! Oh shit! That didn't work. What else you got? Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. That was refreshing. You should stand down, Indent. We don't want to disintegrate you just yet. Were you trying to create a supernova just now? Because that's what your uninformed meddling with the Taurus containment field would have led to. That your stack boss asked you to do this only confirms his incompetence. Luckily, we are in control now. They are assuming direct control. So is your stack cluster, and so is every indent registered there, including yourself. Okay. Your indentured contracts have been transferred and renewed in accordance with existing agreements and standard protocol, etc., etc. This is a corporate grab team. You belong to us for what remains of your pitiful life expectancy. However, while you have demonstrated an alarming lack of cognitive skills, you have also shown an aptitude for applying lethal solutions to conflicted situations. This might be of some use to Y Corp. So, we wish to test your abilities by giving you a special assignment. A trial of sorts. Success will raise you above the filthy mass of regular indents and provide you with certain perks. And you'll be given a chance at earning your freedom. We will set up an operation center in Cluster 13. Come find us there. Damn, that was all pretty perfunctuary. Nice. I like how efficient these guys do things. Poon has just been having me run around shooting at shit, and she's like, okay, here's a long list of things you need to know and get to it. Job done. Hmm. So RBM5, Fusion, Tomalock, uh, last service, unknown, current status, functional, barely. Hmm. Maintenance long overdue. That's what you want to hear about a nuclear fusion reactor, right? Maintenance long overdue. Reactor running within parameters, but for how much longer? Two red lines in the last 200 cycles registered reactor SI in urgent need of an upgrade. Also noted several strange fluctuations on the energy grid lately. Cause unknown could be traced of the fluctuations back to the reactor, but cannot rule out either. Detailed report forwarded to our ecology energy division. Mm-hmm. Damn, look at it. They didn't fuck around. They just straight up smoked these spiders. Alright, anything over here. There was a load of credits. I like how the game's like, yeah, your loop's over here, and we're gonna teleport you way the fuck away from it. Don't do that to me, game. Don't make me cry like that. Not fair. Can you just shoot the corpo guys? Eventually, probably. We'll probably get around to that. I imagine that's how this is all gonna end, right? But we don't work for Boss Poon anymore, though, apparently, which is nice, because the guy's a bit of an arsehole, really. Don't really... Spider box picked up. What? Is it an augment? Please tell me it's an augment. 
Hmm, deploys multiple explosive spider bots. We too can now poop out bomb bots. Expensive weapon platform dispensing multiple kamikaze spider bots that will um, eagerly rush to your enemies and explode in their faces. God, we have so many augments now. And I, only, I can only put two of them in. Uh, okay. This... Hmm. Seems maybe worth swapping into. I don't know. We might want to swap into that. We're going to lose a lot of shock damage. That's going to nearly halve it. We're going to lose the body attribute. Is that what it's called? Cybernetics attribute. But we are going to gain... Aiming. We're going to lose the body battery as well. But we're going to gain aiming and weapon handling. Let's give it a whirl. Anything new in the head department? Don't think so. No. Nothing better in the legs either. Okay, we good. So, the Y Corp knows the Ascent Group uh, was working on a secret project which might have been the cause of a sudden bankruptcy. The Ascent Group board would know what it is, but reaching them is, well, nigh impossible. And instead, Y Corp has tasked me with first going after soft targets on the low levels. So we were trying to prevent the collapse of our group. The, uh, then Boss Poom was like, actually, no, we're going to try and be independent from all the corps. Then Y Corp swoop in and they're like, no, go after your old group. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf pooping spiders, right? Breaks the brain. Gracious Jiffy, what a name. Alright, let's be gone from this place. Message waiting. Message from sender Kira. Stored and awaiting playback. Okay. Indent, we're waiting for you. Don't test our patience. I'm on my way! Don't be like that, okay? Give a guy a chance. Yeah, so if I use hack around these orbs, it brings a turret out. I never noticed that before, till now. That's pretty cool. So I can summon turrets out of those little holes in the ground. Cool. Stomp, 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 stomp. First time in life, I'm opening the sealed envelope in the dark. Glue was glowing while it was tearing open. Ooh, radioactive glue. Seems legit. <laughs> Probably some chemical bioluminescence process from the glue meeting air or something. That's pretty cool. You should look that up on Google, actually. Is that, is that a known thing? I'd be interested to know. Are you a good robot? Nope. <laughs> Probably was. What about you? Nope. I don't trust you robots anymore. It's like the robot uprising around here. Fucking... Now I have reason to shoot them. Go this way... I'm going to go to the grafter, and I'm going to go and put this spider bot in, and ranger bot as well. Because I like that. Dropping lots of little bombs. And then... Being able to send out a little robot to do fighting for me. Seems cool. Seems like there are more robots down here than there were previously. Also, little bastards, and this guy just runs into the gunfire. No survival instincts at all. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, hang on. Where am I going? I'm supposed to leave the deep stink, can't I? But it's telling me to... Speak with Kira. Oh, 
I'm going the right way. Why is the game wanting me to go down that way? I know where I'm going, game. Leave me alone. Oh. Because this is the blocked off door. All right, game. Show me the way. <laughs> uh, looks kind of like a static charge glow, which is even more weird. Mm. Yeah. That is a very strange thing. All right, so... Follow the ping. Let's do that this time, yeah? Instead of just running like I know where I'm going. You know the weapon skin? Cool. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Wait, there's a chest down there. I grabbed that before. I probably have. It's just loaded with money. Yeah. Worth getting again. Somebody keeps leaving their money lying around and I keep picking it up. They're like the janitor, but... No. Money related. Somehow. Looking into the envelope, I suddenly like working uh, in mine more. <laughs> Oh dear. Credits! Those. Out we go. Got cards to use in shops, and it's equivalent to one third of your salary. That's actually not bad. Yeah. So that's what, like, a nice little bonus uh, that they gave you or something for a job well done. Okay, apparently we go this way, not that way, because there's little shits that way. And what do we do to little shits? We blow them up. Flush them down the toilet. Wipe our bum and wash our hands. I mean, uh. Information. Alright. Back to the Vorans. It's a bonus that we get for each time we go uh, down to a. Uh, down to work. Ah, all right. Oh, hey, look at these guys now. There's a whole load of them here. You guys are all Y Corp, huh? Yeah, me too, apparently now. Hi, what's up? What's your name? You trying to. What, what are you. Sorry, do I keep on bumping into you? Sorry. Get out of here before they all turn around and shoot the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm truly your grateful abbot at this. Grateful abbot? No, I'm not aware, and apparently I never will be, because you read too slow. Need to go and find the news terminal and see what that was about. Shoot them before they shoot you. Good philosophy. So, we need to be over here somewhere. Got it. My way. And they want to give me a kind of a... a an audition to be doing what I'm doing already, running around with a big fucking gun, murdering shit. Smoking fools and all that other cool stuff. It was me coming through. Poon's gonna be pissed. I wonder what's happened to him. Or is he already gone? Like, hi, don't mind me. I'm just gonna explode all of you. That guy's just missed. Missed and legs. 
I think that's his brain over there. Ew. Gross. Can I go through here yet? Hmm. A lot of restricted areas. It's like, I want to go in. Let me in. Let me in. Dropping down to sleep. See you both. Have fun. No problem, Urana. Take care. Thank you for coming in. Have a good evening. Sleep well. Private event tonight. There's always a private event. Can I just run past this fool? Ah, oh, man. Well, yeah, you think you're getting in right, but no. Invisible wall. Well, shite. Let me go sell these bounties first at the bar. We're always a grand each. Alright. So I know that these chests I can't get into. Actually, though, there's loot over here. That was in the bar, right? Like a weird little bar. And that's floating in space, which makes me think we can get in there eventually. That must be in there, right? Okay. First things first. We're gonna go to the weapon upgrader, dude. I can't open that. Shit. Go to the weaponsmith. And then the grafter. Let's see if I can... Um... Upgrade. Do I want to try upgrading that to have a decent shock weapon for when we're fighting robots? But I have the digital ammo thing, so I probably don't need that, right? Can we upgrade the Dominator? Nope, we can't upgrade that either. We need a level 3 upgrades for those. That one, we don't have enough for... We have enough to upgrade that once. Not much point, then. We have camo now. Police. I'm going to stick with white and red. So, not a lot going on there. Want to get jacked? Yeah, I'd like you to um, change my augments. So, I love the punch, don't get me wrong, but now I feel like we need... Hmm, who do we want on this one? This will be the right bumper. No, sorry, left bumper. Spider bots for the left bumper. And this one, Mono Ranger. So actually, I won't have the IO Converter in anymore. Hmm. What is Biometric Timestamp? Yeah, I remember that. That one basically, like, saves your health status, and then when the timer runs out, you go back to that health status. So it's like a quick heal, basically. Do that before running into a big fight, and then boost your health again. That was disappointing, the razor drops. Yeah. I wonder if the canary thing we got... Apparently changed my face. Don't want to do that. I wonder if it's a pigment. No. Is it part of the style top pattern? Canary! Ah! <gasps> yes, it is. Okay, it was a t-shirt. CSM. And we have pink. That doesn't look pink, but then again, probably won't in here, right? I think we're going with that right now, while we're in here. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, what else can we do? Gun shop. Sell all the duplicate shit that I don't want. Um... Do I have any duplicate augments? Nope. Duplicate headgear? Yep. Lower body stuff? Yep. How many duplicate modules? Duplicate upper bodies? Yep. And duplicate weapons? Yep. And then I'm going to sell that, but I'm going to keep the superior. For now. I don't really like this, though. 
Uh, the sniper rifle, too slow a rate of fire. But I bet if you upgrade this a lot, I bet it's like a really serious one-hit damage. But I prefer rapid fire, and it doesn't give me like an aim range advantage. I have it equipped, so... Yeah, let me swap it out. Go back to the auto smasher. Then I can sell it. Get rid, don't want. Right, what can I buy from this guy? Now selling the Dominator that I'm currently using. He's selling the Superior. The Fist. Fist some fools. With a shotgun. You. The Boar Shot. Nope, I'm good with my big monster. What is this? The Strike Breaker. Why do I get the feeling that's like a minigun? It is, yeah. Oh, oh. minigun, say. To shreds, you say. Okay. Um, it's okay, we go up. We ascend. Where was that bar, then, that has the, uh, has the loot in it? And, uh, there was a kind of a bar that we can go in. It wasn't over here. Maybe it's back this way. And we couldn't get in before. Ah, there it is. Yeah, there, there, there. That green. That green. Purple thing. I know colors. Yeah, we can go in here. Hi. This is Y Corp property now. Oh, wait a minute. This is what you guys set up. Oh, hi. Funny meeting you here. And now this is open. Oh, turn that shit off. If you're not watching the TV, turn it off, guys. And it's comp. All right, turn it back on. Sorry. And um, before I speak to her, I want to go and see if Boss Poon's available to talk to. <laughs> I just found a, a super stupid but clever way of getting free subtitles for videos. Say you want to put a video on TikTok or Instagram and want to add subs, edit the video, upload it to YouTube, let it auto-generate the captions, fix any typos, and then download the subtitle file off your YouTube and re-export the video with the subs. A bad way to do it, yeah. That's pretty cool. Alright, Boss Poon, where is he? He's here. <laughs> What's up, dude? How's that uh, leadership role working out for you? Look, you're nothing special. Move along. Oh, damn, somebody is a little jelly poo. Hmm? Little jelly? Yeah, he jelly. Dude's like, go fuck yourself, basically. <laughs> Alright, let's watch the news first, then we'll go and talk to, uh, what's her name? Kira. I'm truly your grateful abbot, and this is the feed. As some of you are aware, property rights of everything inside this arcology have become somewhat muddled since the Ascent Group went bankrupt some cycles ago. Rival corporations have sent grab teams to take what they can. We have reports of intense fighting in certain sectors where rival CGTs strive for domination. Isn't free competition wonderful? I do advise you to stay away from all such fighting. In time, your contracts will be moved to whoever the new owner becomes and everything will be sorted out. No need to risk your lives and well-being. For the fighting is not just happening among the Habstacks. The race season is now in full swing, and the Savage Supremes have just racked up another win. 
after a disappointing qualification run where they ended up last in the starting scrimmage they must have done some serious gear tuning five laps saw them moving up to fourth place another 10 laps brought them within sniffing distance of their main rivals the killjoy crushers i really follow sports so i have no idea what he's talking about saves you about 200 dollars a year i can imagine yeah yeah definitely but yeah, gotta love competition, especially in the GPU market. The bug is smart. <laughs> the crushers held on to their lead for Smartest bug. Of laps, but ultimately had to give way when their driver lost a limb. The Savage Supremes wanted the feed to convey their thanks to you, my dear audience. With this important victory secured, they're well on their way to win the Speed Crush Carnage Cup this season. <laughs> they never performed this well when the Ascend Group was still their main sponsor. It's like I always say, when things seem to be falling apart, they're actually falling into place. That's actually a pretty cool saying. Don't know if it applies right now, but it's pretty cool. Like, yeah, don't worry about it. Everything will work out, you know? Like, yeah. All right, Kira, what do you want? Finally. Y Corp is looking to expand its property appropriation division, and you fit the profile. Barely. If you complete our test assignment, you'll be given a position with one of our corporate grab teams, hmm. as the indents call them. I detest the term, but it does describe the work we do. We seek out contested property and transfer ownership of it to Whitewood. Sometimes a competing team is after the same property. Then we flatline them. It can be quite satisfying. Oh, I like the idea. There are more perks. As a Y Corp CGT operative, you'll have access to select gear, and you'll be covered by a premium Y Corp insurance policy. But first, you have to complete this assignment. We want the complete Ascent Group operations history. It is stored in one of their data vaults. You must locate the correct vault, re-imprint the vault SI, and upload the desired data to our AGI. Complete this assignment, and you'll get a shot at earning your freedom further down the line. Your success will depend on your brawn trumping your inferior sapiens brain. We expect this will be a considerable challenge. Did she just call me dumb? Our comms records show you've already collaborated with that notorious ice fiend knockhead. We suggest enlisting his aid again. Questions? Yeah, contested property. What's all that about? When a corporation defaults on Velez, there is no regulatory body governing its demise. All property belonging to that corporation can, from that moment, be appropriated or taken by any other corporation with the capabilities to do so. And that's called transfer of ownership? We won't burden you with the technicalities, but in short, the process involves imprinting the property governing SI so that it answers only to the new owner. In other words, they hack the systems controlling it. The other multi-corps, Corp is looking to rapidly expand its holdings within this arcology. Acquiring the Ascent Group operations history will help us prioritize what property to target next. Yeah, you're not after their, like, potential research projects or anything of the sort and IPs, you know. So this data vault, tell me. The Ascent Group also rented vault space to other corporations on Velez. Uh -huh. Well, that's what you're really after, I bet. Expect a slew of auto defenses operating at maximum lethality, Wait. as well as rival CGTs looking to protect their corporate data. How do I get inside? For the time being, Y Corp intends to keep a low profile, so you will have to gain access on your own. And then I imprint it? Yes. SI imprinting is an extremely delicate procedure. Your imp will be bonded to our AGI, which will perform the actual imprinting. We require you to jack in directly to the SI on site, and our AGI will do the rest. And before you ask, yes, Y Corp has its own AGI. It's a Gen 12, and yes, your access to it will be severely restricted. Aha, and then I get my freedom, right? Y Corp has certain long-term objectives. If you are instrumental in achieving those objectives, we will offer to void your indentured contract and register you as an independent contractor. Nice. You'll be a free being, as much as anyone is free on Bellas. Yes. Very well. We have taken the liberty of bonding your imp with our AGI through the local data nodes. You should expect a slight performance boost. Now get going. Hey, so it will make funnier jokes is what you're saying, right? Cool. Data miner. Okay, this change you made to my imp, I don't like it already. It's creeping me the fuck out. 
What did you do? Damn it. All right, we need to go see Noghead again. Uh, where was he? He was in um, Black Lake Towers, was he? Really? Oh, yeah. That's right, he was. Okay, cool, cool. Before we go anywhere, though, I think we need to update our style. Let's see about transmogging into some new shit. Don't like the look of that. That's the Cyclops security helmet. Hmm. All right, we don't have anything new for the head. What about the torso? Ooh. Okay, Igor. That's what we've put on. I don't like the look of that. It looks like we're supposed to be training guard dogs how to bite people. I'd like to be able to rotate my character if I can. I don't seem to be able to do that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we have anything new that I really want to put in. We've got more MC Hammer pants again. Those look pretty good. Stick those on. I really like that popped collar. But I don't know what the other side looks like. I will right, we'll stick with what we've got for now. Oh, I want my uh, my helmet back, though. There we go. Okie dokie. Um, skills, we haven't leveled up yet. What? And we need to go... I probably just want to take the train, then. To the Black Lake Tower. Go from there. Let's head down. Down, down, down. Turn that off. <laughs> no advertising for you, weapon shop. We're going to be going up against automated defenses, means I need to consider my loadout a little more, so... Um... Maybe my tactical needs to be the EMP grenade. No, actually... There's probably mechs. I want this for the mechs. Uh, we are going to have to use this, aren't we? At some point. It's not very well updated right now. That's a shame. Excuse me. I wish I could buy components, you know? Could hand it over. Like, I can update it once and then that's it, I'm stuck. I can't do any more. Um, hmm. Even then, it's probably going to do more damage, even at a lower level, than my current gun does. It does physical damage that they're supremely hardened to, right? right Black Lake Tower, let's go. I don't know, we'll try it out. We'll, we'll see how we go. I'm just gonna creepily stand behind this guy and go over his shoulder. Breathe heavily. be honest. I mean, that makes sense to me. Let's go this way. Down. Here we go. Where are these little fuckers? Get out of here.
this away. Nice. Yep, this way. Again, for an uninhabited tower, there seem to be an awful lot of people here. I... I... I don't know. Like bullshit to me. Oh, okay. Robots! Fight for me! Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. One thing I like in games when they give you skills is if they're force multipliers. Hmm. Yeah, I like things that give me, like, automated defenses, turrets, things like that. Oh, this is the guy who was going to hook us up with better hardware. So, uh, hi. Yeah. Still s talking the same smack. Talks about data leeches. Uh, this guy here. Also talking about data leeches. That guy. Ooh, I can. Rob them of their shit. That's mine now. Oh no, not Poon, my friend. Poon's history. Poon is out of here. Oh, hang on. Who the fuck is Y Corp? They want you to appropriate an ascent group data vault. I don't do appropriations, pal. I'm pretty damn good, but that SI would nerf ride my ass before I even got past the outer ice layer. They have their own AGI. Does that change things? <laughs> it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm not sure you understand, pal. Only the largest multi-courts have their own AGIs, and you tell me your imp is fucking bonded with one? Let me yeah, see. Yeah, dude. You jealous? You jealous, right? Yeah, I know you jealous. That's some beautiful code. There's a, a cold elegance to AGI where that us orgs can only dream of achieving, but then I don't get what you need me for. Their AGI can crack open a vault like a Ponto nut. Why don't you have it do that in the imprinting, both? Y Corp have their own AGI, and yet they want to keep a low profile? Well, whatever. I can get you in, all right. But seeing as this is a corporate job, I won't do it pro bono. Again, I gotta admit, I'm real curious about what's going on here. It might be worth helping out just to get some insight, and maybe even link to that AGI at some point. Oh, you wish. Okay. Let's just say you'll owe me for this one. Oh, dear. I've revived my comm tag on your imp so we can stay in touch. Best get cracking, my friend. I'm going to do a deep trawl for anything Y Corp related in the meantime. All right. So, yeah, this is an... Oh, my God. It looks evil as fuck. Like something out of control. But yeah, you've heard these terms thrown around. AGI is an artificial general intelligence, heavily regulated, hyper-intelligent, as powerful as they are rare. AGIs are the crowning achievement of the Aforan civilization. Uh, they use throughout the known galaxy truly self-aware, conscious, and completely artificial beings. Only a few exist, and they're rigorously controlled. They also require unfathomable amounts of energy to operate, which is another reason they are so rare. Sapiens have yet to bring uh, their own first AGI online, not for look of, uh, lack of trying. So it's a supreme intelligence that... Um, where am I going? Go to the data district? Go this way. You know, that they use basically to facilitate their corporate actions. It, it governs everything. It's...
This data vault, data storage district, where is that shit? It's back down in the deep stink. Are you fucking kidding me? Ugh. Gross, I just came from there. All right, fine. I will go to the smelly sewer. Why do they keep a data vault in a freaking sewer? That seems fraught with complications. I don't think that'll work out as well as they think it will. I am going to use the Metro. Go to the Warrens. These guys just ride the train all day, by the way. They're always on. Have you ever noticed this guy? He's so consumed with his little hollow terminal. He misses his stop every fucking time. Every time. He's just not paying attention, clearly. These young folk constantly looking into their little portable screens and... Instead of getting, you know, some productive work done enriching their brains knowledge I'm gonna need to change my twitch name at some point to Iron Boomer <laughs> oh no all right back to the Warren oh, to the deep stink sorry can gross man Fucking gross. I wonder if we're going to go into the um, the area that we can't get into. Because that was where the sentient intelligence was for the, uh, the sewer control system. Apparently no. Oh! Oh, it's here? Maybe? Righty. I think it is. Noghead here. I can get the front door open for you, no problem, but the security system is more entangled than a Carlin nerve bundle. You're gonna have to cut through the ice and disable the whole thing locally. Or blow it up, I guess. Yeah, that would work. Roger that. <laughs> blow it up, you say. I have my rocket launcher with me. So, yeah, it's through here somewhere, apparently. Oh, yeah. So that's what this thing is. It's the data vault. find the Death Star plans in here. Things are moving, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's like all of a sudden everything is a threat. Holy shit, look at this place. What in the... Okay, so we gotta go over there. Somehow. Oh man, let's get exploring. Nope, can't go that way. Well, booger. Can go this way.
This is gonna be like a maze, I guess, of different things that connect to different places, so I can go this way. I'm gonna try and get these chests while we're in here. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back here. Shit. Hey, leveled up! Something is shooting the shit out of me from over there. The rockets. And I don't like it. Oh, it's like a, a mortar? Can't hack that shit. There's a chest over here I want. Zero in on that first. Gimme. Don't be ice level two. Oh, you are ice level two, you son of a bitch. So I might have to come back down here. I guess it may be a place we can re-enter. Okie dokie. I love how they're like, yeah, it's highly sensitive data. Let's fill it with exploding barrels. That seems legit. Okay, I'm in trouble here. We're struggling for health already. This is not good. Is that a health place I can get health from this? Yes! Just what I needed. Yeah, I get the feeling this is the, the entrance. Or an entrance. Access denied, of course. God, these guys are so strong. All right. Let's try using the superior, even though it's not. Oh, wow, that is Ooh, OK. That does the job. OK, cool. But we should be using it. Even though it's not as high damage as the other one, the fact that they're more resistant to, you know, physical damage means we're getting more out of it. Look at these turrets online for myself. Oh my god, what are these guys? Senders. Okay. So I guess those guys are part of the Ascent group. Boy. 
two of them. And of course my assistant things are kind of useless to do anything about them. Uh, what we're going to do, actually, then, is we're going to go up the bottom end, cut across, come back down that way, and then come back up this way. Here for the letters. I'm also, since we now have robots and people to worry about, put the Dominator back but we'll replace the, uh, thingy. Oh, shite. Ah. Replace the rocket launcher. The thing that could have made mincemeat of these guys much quicker. I need to be able to carry three weapons! This isn't fair. Alright. Oh, that wasn't so bad. What else you got? Oh, I can't get across there. Ooh. Okay, fine. Go this way then. Oh, oh, okay. Pulls. A cave troll. Again. So these guys are part of the ascent. Alright, we got a lot of bounties out of that. Nice! 